In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a real-time gateway and a standard gateway so that you can offer both methods of payment for your customers and allow them to choose on the same order form of premium web cart. It's very common to have a system like AuthorizedNet as your real-time gateway and then to use PayPal as your standard gateway. This usually helps your conversions by giving your customers more ways in which they can buy your product. Another important thing to understand about Premium WebCart is that we are one of the only cart systems which will work with PayPal and recurring payments. Now all you have to do to get started is come to Cart Settings and Gateway Setup. First we're going to set up our real-time gateway, so I'll click on the real-time gateway tab. And now I'm going to select a real-time gateway to utilize. Keep in mind there are many resellers of these systems, so the most important thing to understand is what is the underlying engine being used to process your payment. In this case I'm going to set up Authorize Net and click Add. Now this information you'll need to obtain from your Authorized Net account. You will just log in, copy it, and paste it as we show you how to do in the other Authorized Net setup. For the purpose of this example, I'm simply going to use fake data. And I'm going to save the changes. And now you'll notice that all the data is encrypted. Nobody, including you, will ever be able to see what this data is inside your Premium Web Card account. But of course, you're not done yet because you still need to activate this account. And now you can see that your payment gateway has been successfully activated. Now I'm going to go to my standard gateway and I'm going to add PayPal so that my customers can choose which way they want to pay me. Now the first thing I'll need to do is choose PayPal from this drop-down window. Add it. Now here again I will need to copy and paste this information from my PayPal account in order to complete this setup. Here again you'll notice that all the information is encrypted and nobody will ever be able to see this information inside your premium web card account including you. Now again I'm going to come down here and activate this account. And now you see that this PayPal account has been fully activated and is now ready for use on your order page. But there's one more thing that we still need to do, and that is we need to tell Premium WebCart two different pieces of information. The first thing we need to do is tell Premium WebCart whether you want to authorize and capture the sale or whether you want to authorize the payment only. Unless you have a specific reason for only using authorize, you'll want to keep it at the default setting of authorize and capture. The second thing you'll need to do is tell Premium WebCart which cards you choose to accept. All you have to do is click on the card you want to accept and then move it into the selected cards box. Now I'm going to save the changes. So now my card is ready to accept payments through a regular credit card real-time payment gateway and through PayPal. And now let's go ahead and click on the test link of a product so that you can see how this is going to look on your order form. And now you'll see in our payment method that you can choose American Express, Discover, MasterCard, Visa, or PayPal. This gives your customers more ways to pay you and increases the conversion rate of your website.